today I am going to show you how to prevent moths from chomping away at your sweaters when you put them up for the summer and to do it in a way that is green and non-toxic because as you may know regular mothballs and a lot of moth repellents can be really really toxic so you want to avoid them at all costs. So this is what I do. It's so simple and it's so easy. So you basically are going to get your sweater or your sweaters that you want to put away. First step is to make sure they're very, very clean. So make sure that you either dry clean them, hand wash them. Moths love dirty sweaters. So super clean. Then fold it up nicely, place it in a plastic bag. An old grocery store bag is fine that you'll have hanging around your house. Loosely, you don't have to seal it like so and you're going to put this in the freezer overnight. Now what the freezer does is the freezing temperatures will kill the larvae, the moth eggs, and it's the moth eggs that are the problem because typically the moths will come in um, in the winter and they'll fly around your sweater and they'll lay all these eggs which are completely invisible of course and you can't see. And then what we do is we seal them up in our sweaters up, we put them away for the winter, but during the winter, the little eggs hatch, all the little baby moths come out, they're hungry, they chomp our sweaters. So in the freezer overnight, all the larvae, all the moth eggs are zapped. And then you take it out in the morning, and it won't feel all stiff and frozen, I promise you, it feels like your regular sweater. And then what you want to do is put it in a sealable bag or however you're going to put it away in your cedar chest. I have cedar chest, which I love, and I put my sweaters in there. What I also do as added protection is I get a little rag, a little clean rag, and I add 10 drops of one of the following essential oils, either citronella, lavender, or peppermint, or all three. And it'll also make your sweaters smell really lovely. Now, while we're on the subject of sort of dry cleaning and putting things up for the winter, this is the greenest way that you can transport your dry cleaning to and from the dry cleaner. And I urge everybody to get a couple of these because they're so easy and they're so great. So it's called the Green Garmento. Now, you'll need two of these bags, these Green Garmento bags, and this is why. So the first one that looks like a regular garment bag it has a little drawstring at the top. So this will serve as a duffel bag or a laundry bag for your dry cleaning that you can keep in your laundry room or on the back of a closet door. So you'll simply just dump all your dry cleaning in there until you have enough in there to take to the dry cleaner. You will take this very beautiful bag to the dry cleaner and say, there you go, thank you very much. But you will also take him a spare bag so that when you are ready to collect your dry cleaning from the dry cleaner, you will have taken one of them home and he will give you your dry cleaning, or she will give you your dry cleaning in a green garmento bag. Now the reason why you need two is because while one of them is at the dry cleaner waiting to be filled with your beautiful clean clothes, the other one is serving as the duffel bag for you to be filling at home. So I love green Garmento. They're very inexpensive. As I say, you will need two of them and it will keep all of that plastic. There's so much plastic at the dry cleaner that we really want to try and avoid. And my final little green tip about dry cleaners, probably all of you now, I'm hoping that all of you have a non-toxic or eco-friendly dry cleaner in your town or in your city where you live. And even if it costs a little bit more, I really urge you to use it because the old, a lot of it is being phased out now, the sort of old fashioned chemicals that were used in dry cleaning, but some dry cleaners do still use them and they're really, really toxic. And in the, in, before eco-friendly cleaners were so available to us all, I used to say to people, when you get your dry cleaning home, just hang it up outside and just let it air out for a few days before you even bring it into the home. It was that bad. So those are your tips. Non-toxic ways to keep the moths from chomping your sweaters, a greener way to transport your dry cleaning to and from the cleaner, and finally, make sure if you do use a dry cleaner that it's eco-friendly. And I will be back, as you know, with lots and lots more tips from Gorgeously Green.